So if you open up this book, I would suggest you park your guilt first. Park your have to, park your must, and do whatever you want. For some of you, it'll work to start on January 1st and go all the way through, and that's great. You're gonna have a wonderful experience, meet a lot of people. It'll take you maybe three, four minutes to read each page, but I hope that uh, the challenge or their, their quote will stay with you all day. But let's be real. We don't always have time to do that every day. This is not a book where you should feel guilty if you open it on January 1st and life intervenes and you don't get back to it till January 10th, that you're a total loser and you can't finish it. Open to wherever you want. If you wanna do it day by day, great. If you wanna look for the who's, who's on your birthday, who's on your wedding anniversary, who's on the birth of your first child, if you wanna look up, um, we did something in the book so that, um, for example, a lot of people were influenced by or were friends with John Bosco or obviously Paul and Peter. Start looking for some of their friends. You could do that too. There should be no guilt associated with this book. If you wanna start on January 1st and end, great. If you wanna pick a page at random, pick a page at random. If you get it, at, got it as a gift and um, two or three weeks pass and, and you just haven't really looked at it, start wherever you want. This is about you and a relationship with 366 pretty good men. You will find at least one of them. It might take you a while, it might not be the page you open to at random, but don't feel guilty about it. Just dive in wherever works for you. The other thing I would say is, um, I joke about my writing being a gateway drug. I'm known in my family as being very broad in my interests, but also very shallow. Um, I hope that you find somebody in this book who you want to go and read his writings, or you want to go and find out more about him at his order. You want to read the um, contemporary accounts of him. And we can do that a lot these days on the internet, often in English or whatever your particular language is. So if you get to, um, say, St. Bruno, and you decide that um, you want to watch into great silence because you want to learn all about the Carthusian monks and maybe buy some chartreuse, which is what happened in my house, and not get back to the book for a couple of weeks, that's fine too. So just don't feel guilty. Revel in what you're learning. Level, revel in the inspiration and read this book any way you want. It's, I'm giving you, as the author, I am giving you permission to read this book any way you want.